good tonight. Well, my next guest. My next guest is a beautiful actress who's appeared in numerous films, including The Truman Show and The Devil's Own. Now you can see her in the new series, Revelations, which airs Wednesdays at 9 o'clock, right here on NBC. Please welcome Natasha McElone. <laughs> Thanks for being here. You know, I was a little nervous about pronouncing your name because it's got a very strange spell. Ma Am I saying it right? McElhone? McElhone. 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 I'm, I'm Conan. <laughs> oh, right. So I'm angry with you, too. <laughs> McElhone. McElhone. It's We're... very... I can barely say it. In fact, I'm probably saying it wrong. Uh, but it's, it's your name. You should be able to... <laughs> it's sort of my name. It's my mother's name. I actually... My birth name is Natasha Taylor if you can believe that. It's <laughs> yeah. so simple. You have such a s uh, simple name, and then you change it. Most people, when they change their name, change it to something easier and sort of... I know. And it's you so went to McElhone. Yeah. McElhone. <laughs> McElhone. McElbone, I've been called. Oh, you've been called McElbone? I've been it's called terrible. McElbone, yeah. Well, if we're going to get into what we've been called, I don't want to get into that. <laughs> But you chose this name, and it's just funny because a lot of people, when they go into, sh like a lot of people assume that this is, that Conan is not my name. They think that I came up with it. And I think, well, if I was gonna come up with a name, why would I choose that name? Yeah. If I made a name, I'd be like Chip Flash. <laughs> Late night with Chip Flash. <laughs> yeah, um, that's American. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're kind. You're not, you're not going in for the kill. Natasha, did you think of other ideas like Natasha... Flash. Natasha Flash. Yeah. Um, no, I mean, <laughs> I, I was kind of loyal to my mother, you know. I just thought it would be nice. weird to take a name that sure. had nothing to do with my family. Right. And they were all, you know, Gallagher or McElhone or, or kind of... These are good Brian, Irish names. You know, These are good Irish names. Related. I mean, yeah. Well, everyone, people come up to me, I have people come up to me that say, like, my name's O'Brien. Let's see, if, let's, let's figure out how out. we're related. Yeah. yeah. Like, you know, no, every other person in Ireland is called O'Brien, so. The thing is, with McElhone, if they are called McElhone, they probably are related to Right, because there are fewer. Yeah. yeah, I haven't heard that name. That's why I've been a little wary of it. Tonight. There's a little actor called Jack McElhone. Little, he's a child. That's why he's looking. And, and he's called Jack. A child, and he's an actor? He's a well-known actor? He's... Well, in England, he's, he's, he's just done a movie, and um, How old everyone is this? keeps saying, uh... I think he's about 10. Oh, okay, all right. Child. Yeah. And and so people. <laughs> you look very skeptical. Yeah. No. I was just. Uh, you said little actor at first. I didn't know what I to know, think. I know. I know what you he's, thought. You know. And, you never and know. I just <laughs> glided over that. I don't want to say. I'm assuming he's a child. No, he's not. <laughs> he's a little person, and then I'm in trouble. You know. Yeah. In high def. So uh, we can't have that. I want to ask you about this movie that you you shot recently. That's called Ladies in Lavender. And in this movie, you're required to speak German, is that correct? I speak German throughout, or I have a German accent. I mean, I don't speak like this right, at all. Right, right. Which was um, But you had to learn German for this? I learned it phonetically, so I never actually knew what I was saying. Right. You were just sort of going like, I said, and schautzen! You know, you were doing that? Um, I was trying not to do that. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> See, that's why I never made it as an actor. Because it'd be like, can you do German? Yeah. That's so sweet. I'm like, that's okay. That's not going to work for us. You could be German. Yeah, a German crazy man, yeah. <laughs> I would do that for everything. If my line was, I'd like one more scoop of ice cream, it'd be like, das ist Lieten! You know, so it didn't fit the emotion. No, I, well, yeah, I had some of that experience with... So like, what was this like? Was it difficult to... I mean, if you didn't know what you were saying, I would think that would be very challenging. Well, you could go wrong very easily. That was the problem. And, and I was working with a lovely... Actor, German actor. Oh, Judy Dench and Maggie Smith are the main stars of right. the piece, but right. I had a role and I was working mostly with this lovely German actor called Daniel Brühl, mm -hmm. who's in a bunch of movies that people may or may not have seen here, and he's very well known in Germany. Mm -hmm. I, I wasn't fully aware of that at the time. But he's a big star over there. Yes, he's yeah. apparently. The he's like David of, Hasselhoff. He's like <laughs> huge the, in Germany. I was told he was the Brad Pitt of Germany. The Brad Pitt of yeah. Germany, okay. Yeah. Um, and, I mean, I guess Brad Pitt does exist in Germany as well. I know, it's so like Brad Pitt's not, of... he gets nervous when Brad Pitt comes to Germany. He's like, I am Brad Pitt in Germany! Mm. 
Well, but you're working with a guy who actually, and that would be intimidating because he's probably he's fluent and you're learning and it I'm phonetically. Not at all, right. and, but he was extremely helpful, and I kept kind of saying to him, he had to play the violin in this. Thing. He did incredibly well. And I kept saying, you know, are you okay? How's it going? Is it okay? Because I was thinking, working with Maggie and Judy, it's pretty intimidating. And he was like, yes, I'm fine. And then someone told me that he's like the Brad Pitt in Germany. He's this right. huge movie star, and he's done twice as many movies as me. Right. And I'm sort of going around going, you're going to be okay. Yeah. yeah right, right. So embarrassing. And then to add to that embarrassment, we had a scene the next day where I had to say something like, um, you know, the stellen Sie will, or I can't even remember anymore. But anyway, the word stellen was in there. Right. And um, it meant that he was asking me why he couldn't see me. And I said, because they're afraid that I'm going to steal you away. Right. And stellen being steal. Right. And so I said this. And he, he said, turned to the door and he said, cut, we have cut. And, and I said, God, I was really surprised because he's a young guy and he wouldn't normally kind of intercept the director's. But you could you sense know, you did something, something wrong. Something wrong. And he said, and Charles said, well, you know, I thought it was going great. What was the problem? And he said, because um, she actually said, they are afraid that you would like to breastfeed me. <laughs> <laughs> now, and they're taking that line out? <laughs> no, but the irony was I was actually breastfeeding my son at the time. Oh, oh, yeah. oh. I just had a baby, so it was very... It was weird for was him, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I'd go see that movie. <laughs> it's got all new connotations. Yeah. Uh, well, the show you're in, uh, that you're doing here in, in the States, Revelations, mm. uh, airs on this network Wednesday nights at 9 on NBC, and that's doing great. And Ladies in Lavender, the movie you just spoke about, opens Friday in select cities. That's good. It's at the Tribeca <laughs> Film Festival. <yeah. laughs> I like how you're listening and you're like, yes, that pleases me, yes. <laughs> It was really fun talking to you, though. Would you come back? Really uh, fun talking to you. I would love to. Yeah, yeah, it was great having you here. Natasha McElroy, everybody. We'll be right back with Ben Folds. All right, everybody, we're back.